A cross-session connect edition update 17 introduces a new capability in the parametric component workflows. This is the ability to edit a component in context or in place. This means now you can right-click on a parametric component and then select the activate component option. You are then presented with two choices. You can create a new component, meaning the parametric uh, component definition will be copied and uh, you will assign a new name to the new one and will spin off a completely different part. Or you can edit the uh, current component definition, which means you won't have to change the cell name. And whenever you're finished with your modifications, you will be updating all the uh, other instances of the same component in these DGN files. So now we have activated our parametric component. And what we can do is pretty much everything you can do when the um, when working on the uh, component definition file. So for example, here, I may want to tidy up a little bit the cell. I found, I uh, realized that one of the tracks is not really aligned as it should. So there you go, I can just move it to where it needs to be. And just accept. Or for example, I may have forgotten to create uh, some holes for uh, running some cables or something like that in in my uh, in my track structure, so I can just select as I would normally do my whole feature, select the diameter of my hole, the destination uh, solid. As you can see now, we're actually accessing the solid inside the cell. We're not working on the cell as a whole, only actual elements. And there you go. I'm gonna put one hole here and another one. In here, positioning is probably the position is probably not uh, great, but it will help us to understand the, how the feature works. So this feature will really help into um, getting the most out of your content. It will make it much easier to repurpose and reuse, recycle your existing content. How many times you will have may have a component that is not 100% right for your current job, but will need some modifications. And I know we know it's very hard to do those modifications just in a blank file, in the definition file of the um, component itself. You need to be able to access the context in which the component will be uh, will be used. You might have to snap or align it to some existing, um, some existing elements. So now you can do that. You can place your existing uh, component, activate it in context, do all your modification. And as you've seen, you just click on the activate component whenever your changes are completed. So I really hope you're gonna enjoy this feature. And thanks a lot for your attention. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.